everyone and welcome back to my home channel. So today I have got all the cozies going on. I'm so ready for fall. We have started to have some fall weather here in central Pennsylvania and I am in the mood to declutter, kind of getting the house ready for winter time since here the winters are long and we spend a lot of time inside. I am kind of going through my house and really digging into organizing and getting a lot done. Today we are doing something that I have been wanting to do for a while. I have lived in this house for quite a while and I really have wanted a command station. If you don't know what a command station is, it's kind of a place where you can keep a calendar, you can keep um, little slots for mail and other things. Just a little command station where you can kind of command your house out of and it's just helpful to keep everything in one place. Along with that, I actually have this closet that is right around the corner from my bedroom here and it is very large so I thought why not take part of it and make it into a command station and then the other part of it just to have as back stock and a place to stock things that I kind of stock around the house. So whenever I make trips to Costco or Sam's Club it's easy for me to have a place to put those overflow of different things that we use on a regular basis. You guys know my absolute love for organizing so today's video I'm really excited about. But before we get organizing, I want to thank Bedshare for sponsoring today's video. And I've actually been wanting to transition my bedding into something a little more cozy, a little more fall and winter themed. And I have been putting little pops of gray around the house. I am a very minimal um, decorator. So I always think about which neutrals I'm using. I love decorating with neutrals. And one of, if not my favorite, favorite type of material is waffle weave and a little side note but my blanket whenever I was a little girl had some waffle weave type material on it and I think ever since then I have a special place in my heart for a waffle weave so Bedshare sent me their waffle weave throw blanket and their waffle weave duvet cover and I'm going to go ahead and tackle getting the bedding kind of changed around. I have been doing a very simple bedding. I haven't been doing throw pillows. I've just literally been doing my normal sleeping pillows and my blanket. I just think that it's a little bit clearer in my mind, keeps everything nice and tidy looking. So let's go ahead and get the bedding changed around and then we will tackle our organizing and I'm so excited to do this project. First off, I have to give Bedshire huge props for their packaging. I love when things are packaged well and beautifully and these would make excellent gifts, whether it's a housewarming or a wedding gift and it's all already in a great looking package. So the first thing that I did was take everything out of the packaging and put it into the laundry. Once it was out of the laundry, I went ahead and put everything on my bed. And you guys, just putting this on my bed, it's so soft. It's just got a wonderful feel that you will love. This duvet cover is 100% soft cotton. It is so cozy and it does have button closures and ties on the inside. One thing I really appreciate is it has eight ties where a lot of duvet covers only have four. So it definitely keeps your duvet in place inside the cover. It's easy to wash and it comes in three sizes, the queen, the fool, and the king. It also comes in multiple colors to fit your style. This duvet set also comes with two pillow covers that match the duvet set to bring your whole look together. The throw blanket is made from bamboo and cotton and it is in a waffle weave as well. It also comes in multiple colors to fit your taste and style and it comes in four different sizes. It's 50% cotton, 50% bamboo, and it is so cozy and soft. It's definitely going to be a blanket I will reach for throughout the cooler months to wrap up in to read a book or just to drink my morning coffee. If you check out the information and the link in the description box, you will see that their website offers a lot more than just duvet covers and throw blankets. They also have sheets, they have a lot of different soft options and I think that their prices are very reasonable and make it possible for everyone to have good quality bedding. They even have products to offer for your pets. So don't forget to check out all the info in the description box. I really love their products. I was very impressed by the quality of their bedding and I know you'll love them too. All 
All right, so I thought I was gonna be able to take the doors off, but I cannot figure out how to get them off the track. So I'm gonna try my best to do this with the doors on. So I'm first going to install some LED strip lights, and you guys know, you can see the reflection above my on my cabinets, how much I love using these, although I've never used this exact kind, and this kind is actually battery operated because there's not an outlet close to this closet, and I like being able to see inside of my closets and have them nice and lit up. If you guys have been around for a while, you already know that. So we're gonna try this out. I need to put the batteries in them, and then they're just the normal like sticky back. They're very renter friendly where you can take them off when you go to move if you want to. And then I guess this has a remote with it, and you put the batteries in this and then hook it all up to that. This was very simple to put together and once I had the batteries in all four packs, it did work to just use one remote to turn on all the strips at once. Okay, so here is my progress and you guys have seen me use this shelf before inside of closets I used it inside of the one in my office when I organized in there and obviously because I'm renting I'm not taking down these parts. So before I ever started oh, There's a little cobweb some real life um, <laughs> before I ever started um, Putting all like getting this all emptied out and like kind of figuring out what I wanted to do There was a shelf in here. I took that out. I just lifted it off and put it in the basement of this rental and then there was also a bar that went across for like coat hanging or hanging things up took that down as well so obviously if this was mine I would take all of that trim off and like paint the inside and all of that but it's not so I'm just going with the renter friendly option also I did put on two strips of the lights the whole way around to get this type of brightness and then the little round things that hold the batteries came with a sticky thing I just stuck those on the wall and I feel like it gives a good amount of lighting inside of here that's like very even and it's not just some little light bulb at the top. So this is going to be the storage side of the closet and then over here is where I'm going to make my command station which is going to be kind of hidden in this closet which I like this idea and I do have some storage bins I'm going to put on the bottom here and most of the stuff is from Ikea. It's super inexpensive as well as this shelf I might have just said that but I will try to put these item names in the um, description box I can't always link from Ikea but I can at least give you the names in case you guys want to pick up any of these items for yourself I know that I have mentioned this before, but I generally like to put all of my containers onto my shelving before um, I start filling them just to make sure everything fits well. And then I went ahead and used some little sticky notes so that I could move things around and kind of figure out exactly what I wanted to go in to each bin. If you guys enjoy organizing as much as I do and videos like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join my channel.
This little kit I found at Walmart. If I can find a link for it, I will leave it below. It was very inexpensive, but it's great to have things like this on hand just in case the power goes out and you have flashlights for everyone. Even that little lantern would be great in the bathroom if the power was out. So just to kind of have in case of emergencies. Okay, so next I got started on my little command station. This was very inexpensive to put together. I found this calendar at Walmart. I'll see if I can find a link for it below. Amazon may carry it as well. And then I scored and found this really cute cork board on Amazon. I thought that the white in it kind of went with my clean theme inside of this closet. And you guys know how much I love plants and house plants. So this was perfect and it's a great Great place to store little memos and pictures and things like that and then I went ahead and put a letter board to put Bible verses or motivational sayings above my calendar and I can change that out each month along with my calendar if I want to and then I found these great little pockets on Amazon they were a good score and I just think they're gonna be perfect to hold our chore charts and the mail All right, I am so happy with how this all turns out. I just love this font. I feel like it's perfect for this kind of like back stock space and it looks really clean and professional looking, which is what I love about making my own labels and things like that. And honestly, this did not cost that much to get the supplies to do this. A lot of this stuff is from Ikea and very, very inexpensive. So you guys got to see everything that went into these boxes and it's going to be so nice to just have this back stock to where I can go grab from it and then when I run out of things in here then I can put it on my list for the store and replenish it and we're never really running out of what we need around the house. Alright, I'm going to switch sides here and change the doors. we've got our command station side and the nice thing is in here I really could put a few more things on the walls or even on this side of this shelf if I want to if I find things along the way you guys know how much I love home goods and TJ Maxx and they always have great stuff for things like this so this little calendar was super inexpensive from Walmart and I just personalized it there I've had this letter board forever and then I told you guys about this cork board which I think goes great with the white and bright theme in here these things are awesome if you guys can't see they don't stick out very far which is really what I was hunting for when I found these on Amazon I didn't want a really wide pocket I just wanted something very narrow that way it wouldn't get in the way of trying to get in here and then also I wanted to put these on something where I could take it off and actually sit at the table and fill out my months instead of trying to do it on the wall so and then these little hooks over here I can use for keys and um, anything else that I need to hang up in here and then down here I do have my boxes that one is labeled miscellaneous and I actually found a pack of mouse traps a little while ago that I can throw in there just little things that I don't necessarily need a whole box for that item but I can at least have it in storage and mentally kind of make a note oh yeah I have those and then down here is our paperware which we do use a lot since we're a busy family um, I do kind of need to have paperware on hand so that was pretty heavy honestly it's not really meant for this style of cardboard box 
but since it's sitting on the floor, it's really fine in there and it just contains all of it in there. Again, you guys, thanks so much for watching. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment below. That always helps me out. And give this video a like and I'll see you guys in my next video.